Okay, this week we'll be changing IP addresses on uh, Windows and Linux. Uh, first we'll do it with the GUI tools. You should be familiar with that by now. Uh, basically Windows, you go to the uh, control panel, get to the network connections, or right click on the network and go to properties, however you want to get there. Alright, change the IPv4 settings. You want to specify an IP address. In this case, I'll put 192.168.1.1. We're not going to put a gateway or a DNS server this week because we're only going to be working on our, our local area network. There's no router for us to put. So I'll put that on my Windows machine. I'll run the IP config command to verify it. I'll see that I have the settings I want. I'll go to my Linux machine. I will uh, change the settings on the Linux machine, system preferences, uh, network connections. I'll edit that. IPv4 settings, I'll change it from automatic to manual. And I will set it to 1.2. Again, not putting a gateway because there is no router this week. Apply. I'm running as student, as the student user, and I need administrative privileges to change the uh, network config. So I put in the, the root password and hit authenticate, and that let me change the settings. So I'll use the if config command on uh, Linux to verify that it changed the password, and I'll see that it did not. And then I'll remember, oh yeah, I need to deactivate it and reactivate it to get that to be, that change to be effective. So now we'll look, and now we have the 1.2 address on our Linux machine. We'll go back to Windows. I'll ping the Linux machine. Uh, we have success. I'll go back to Linux and I'll ping the Windows machine. And hopefully we'll have success as well. And we don't have success, and we could sit here and think about it for a while, but uh, probably there's a Windows firewall uh, on, so we'll go check that. It's probably the first thing you should check if you can ping from from Windows to Linux, but can't ping back from Linux to Windows is probably the Windows firewall. So if we have that on in the lab, we'll just turn it off. In the real world, you probably want to change the firewall settings to let pings in if you want the ping to get in, but in the lab, we'll just turn it off because hey, that's what we have a lab for, right? So once I've turned that off, then I'll try to ping again, and it will work. Uh, on Linux, the ping will keep going forever to, until you kill it. If you want to kill it, control C. On Windows, it sends four pings and stops a uh, different way they work. So uh, now we're going to uh, change the IP addresses using command line tools. With Windows, uh, you cannot make static IP address changes with IP config. IP config you can let's see what's the syntax for that. You can uh, show information, you can show detailed information, you can renew adapters, renew information for the adapters, you can release addresses, you can show information about different things, but you cannot set a static IP address with uh, um, IP config. If you want to have a static IP, you can set it with the netsh command. Right? First, I will point this out. I was going to not tell you this, but that would be kind of uncool. I'm running my command prompt as administrator. Uh, if you do not run your command prompt, if you just go and hit command prompt, it's just a regular command prompt. See how my administrator command prompt says administrator? My regular command prompt says regular command prompt. If you run the netsh command here, it will not uh, allow you to change the IP address. So make sure you run it as administrator. And the way you do that is to right click on it and do run as administrator. Say yes, and it runs as administrator. So anyway, two ways you can run SSH. Uh, one way is uh, interactive mode, which is how I'm gonna do it the first time. And the other way is non-interactive mode. So in interactive mode, I type netsh, and then it drops me into this netsh shell. Right, can I make that bigger? Yeah, I made that bigger. So I typed netsh, hey, get out of here. 
I typed NetSH, that took me to the NetSH shell, NetSH prompt, so now I can do some things. And one thing you might want to do if you don't know what you're doing is hit a question mark, and that tells you all the different possible things you could do. So I'm going to go into the interface sub menu. I want to change my IPv4 settings. So I'm put IPv4. And it tells me a bunch of stuff. And if you don't know what you're doing, you might not find it intuitive. But we're going to set something, which set says updates configuration settings. So we're going to set something. And we're going to set, you look at all this stuff and read. We're going to set, set the address. So we're going to set address. And there's a big long string we have to put after this that I can never remember the first time. So I always type set address and hit enter. And then down here at the bottom, it tells you all kinds of stuff. But down here at the bottom, it gives you some sample commands. So we're going to set address local area connection connection 2. Because remember, our, our connection was called local area connection 2 on this machine. Uh, you'll want to verify what you're setting to set it. And then we're going to give it a static static address, and I'm going to change it to 192.168.2.2.1, and I'm going to give it a 24-bit mask. And this next number here is the gateway, which we're not setting right now, and this last number is the metric for the routing table, and we're not setting that either. So we'll just hit enter, and uh, it didn't complain, so we will... Hope it worked. So another command prompt and look and see what it said. And it did change it to 2.1. So now we're going to go to the Linux box and change our IP address. Uh, it says that we have 2.1, 1.2. We want to change it to 2.1. So we use if config to do that. We're going to set type if config, the interface you want to change, and then the IP address you want to change it to. We'll change it to 2.2. And then to specify the netmask, you can do it in two different ways. The first way, you can type the word netmask and then the dotted decimal netmask you want it to be. Oh, hey, I'm not root. I have to use sudo for that. I forget that all the time. So now we changed it to 2.2, uh, which is what we wanted to do. The other way you could do this is you could just do slash 24. So both of those work. So now I should be able to ping 192.168.1.2.1, which is why I changed my Windows machine to. So that's two different ways uh, you can change the IP addresses on Windows uh, and Linux with the GUI tools or the uh, command line tools. So I did tell you over here on... on uh, Windows, you could run the command in two different ways. One way was interactively, the other way was non-interactively. So now we'll run the command non-interactively just to show you that if you type this whole thing, see here, here it was down here, I was pointing my finger like that helps you. Down here I ran NetSH uh, interactively, then typed interface, then typed IPv4 to get into this IPv4 and I typed this whole command out. If you want to do that whole thing at the command line, you just type all that stuff. I'll change it to 2.3 and I'll hit enter and guess what's going to happen? It's not going to work because I didn't run it as administrator, but that would have worked if I would have ran it as administrator. Uh, try it out yourself in the lab if you, uh, if you so desire, but uh, that will let you do it that way, uh, non-interactively, uh, typing it all out at one time.